Decisions. Decisions. Which one? Uh, I don't know. I know. How about that? Mmm. This stuff is so good. Portuguese sausage. It's kind of like a pepperoni, but you use it for breakfast. It's like the, a Hawaii thing. It's so good. I haven't had a full hearty breakfast like this in a long time. Yes. And there it is. I'm going to try this fruit spread right there. All this food will hopefully give me tons of energy at the gym. What's up? Rocking the gold lion shirt today. Yeah! Off to the gym. Definitely getting my strength back, which is a really good thing. I feel like I'm getting a little bigger. People are like, wow, you get back to shape, like, back to your size really quickly. And I was like, that's because of the Chipotle, four days in a row. Oh, I'm tired. Time to drink my protein shake. And that was such a good workout. Mmm, cookies. Hey, what's up? I've just been kind of busy working all day. Thought I would give you a tour of some of my clothes in my closet though because a lot of people have been asking me that I would show you guys what I have. Check it out. From Hawaii, got lots of tanks. Here, these are the brands that I usually have. Ruka, Volcom, Rip Curl, Ruka, WESC, Nixon, Animal, Universal, LRG, KR3W, Universal, WESC, Volcom, Universal, American Apparel, WESC, LRG, Turley, Puma, Neff, and Nike. And here's my dress shirts. They're mostly from Lacoste and Barney's. Those are like my two favorite dress shirt places. And here are my polo shirts. When I first went to college, I only had one polo shirt. Everyone was like, oh, you must go to this school because you're wearing a polo shirt. I was like, oh, really? Then I was like, I better go and buy some more. So here they are. And for jeans, my favorite brand of jeans ever is Stitches brand. I don't know if you've heard of it. I had one in high school, and then I was just like, these are so good. I bought so many more. Check them out. This is my original one. There, it's like holes in it and everything like that. Stitches brand. They're so comfortable. I don't think it really makes any difference, but they stick them in redwood barrels and then they age them like wine. So they're incredibly soft and really comfortable. Stitches. 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 And this one has like the twisted leg. Check that out. It goes, it goes all the way around like that. There's a, another stitches. And more stitches. And stitches. But yeah, that's my clothes in my closet. I was looking in here and I was like, why are these even, I don't even have a Nintendo 64 with me right now. These are so cool, remember? And then when it wouldn't work, you'd have to like, everyone would just like blow on it like, and then it says on the back, do not blow on it. Cause if you get like moisture or anything like that, then it kind of ruins it. What else is in here? Oh, look at these. I guess these aren't really that obsolete. Yeah, GameCube game. Super Monkey Ball. This is like awesome game. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, I want to play it. Let's play it. I want to play this. I actually beat the first Super Monkey Ball game. I didn't beat the second one. I think I got pretty far though. It used to be like my favorite game. We always used to play that and Pokemon Stadium with my friends. And then of course Mario Party. Those are like the three games that we would always play. Ah, Super Monkey Ball. I I. Oh, well, these are easy. Go! Remember this? And then you move the ground. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I wish the new Super Monkey Ball games were this good on the Wii. Do you remember? Oh, I got the Wii version, but I just wasn't very happy with it. Look at the graphics and everything. It's still pretty good. Ah! Go! <laughs> this brings back such good memories. Ah. Uh. Yes! Uh. 
Oh my gosh, see look, I haven't even beat all the levels yet. I only got to world, well I got the, to the last world. I haven't even, these levels look so impossible. I remember these. This one was the worst one. The worst offender. There is no way he can beat this one. It's so impossible. Look at that. Ugh. And you have to remember that they didn't, I didn't have YouTube at the time to watch people actually beat these levels. I just, I would just sit there for hours frustrated at this game. Ugh. See, it's so impossible. I give up. Well, this is my favorite. Monkey target. And you want to land on the target? And catch all the bananas while you... And then you want to land on the target. Yeah! Oh, That was pretty good. I remember the first few times I played this, you couldn't... I couldn't get the, um... I couldn't even get the monkey to the target because I didn't know that you had to like be pre pressing down the whole time. So what, what happened was I would just like land in the water like this, watch, and then I would close the ball. <laughs> it was so mean. Oh my gosh, and that monkey shot. This used to be like the most fun game. We'd play this for hours on end. You have to shoot it before it hits you. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Uh-oh, warning. And this is when the, the bad guy comes, which I remember is like an octopus or something that hides in a pot. And then you have to shoot off all of its legs. Yeah, come on, die. Come on. Oh my gosh, these bullets come by so fast. Oh, one leg left. Oh, I killed it. Happens now. Yay! I win! Of course, I'm the only one playing, so. Ah, uh, that brings me back to my childhood. Anyway, what were your favorite games when you were a kid that you used to play all the time? Write in the comments below, I wanna see. My roommate's back to clean up the apartment and to pick up the rest of the stuff. The last of Han's things. It's all clean. Hans is taking a video. I'm f I'm taking a video of Hans taking a video. So In bad. Inception video. Ah, it's super shiny. He's decontaminating everything with his iPhone mic. This is half of that. Yeah. yeah. Killing all the germs. He's taking room dimensions, 3D room dimensions. I did right there. That previously. I remember. All the stuff in the car. Okay, goodbye, Hans. See you later. So my roommates all moved out, gave me his keys and his parking stuff and garage door opener, so that's it. And clearing out the fridge of all the junk. Look how much stuff I've thrown away already. Ugh, this has been here since a year ago. Oh my gosh. So by August 2011. Oh my gosh. Ugh. So much salsa verde. Salsa Verde. I'm guessing this is Salsa Verde. Ah, oh, it looks so clean now. And look at all the stuff I'm throwing away. Boo. So much wasted food. I'm getting it's super, I'm really tired. It's already one o'clock, like way past one. So I gotta get to bed. If you haven't checked it out yet, check out my video skits channel, which I'll link in the description below. Check out the video that I had posted the Hello Goodbye song, Baby It's Fact. It's a pretty awesome little skit video thing that I did. And watch it over and over and over again and share it with your friends. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Above my toilet here, I have this picture here from my Hawaii club in college. There's me right there. Anyway, I thought that I would share with you guys one of the dances that we learned. It's called the Kahiko, which is like a traditional Hawaiian dance. And so we all did it. Because if you didn't know, I'm from Hawaii. I joined the Hawaii club at my school, and I really miss them. Because we would put on a luau once every year, and we'd learn all the traditional Hawaiian dances. It was like one way that um, we could all get together and keep a piece of home from Hawaii going all the way to the East Coast for school. So that's pretty cool. Shout